Have you experienced pain from just holding your phone? These phones are really not designed for the human hand and they can actually lead to repetitive strain injury. And the phone is very often too big for people's hands. So they're straining their thumbs, trying to reach across to do things, select applications or just hold it. So if you're having pain in your thumb joint or on the top around here, or in this part of your thumb, it could be from your phone. So I'm gonna show you a new tool that you can use to help you reduce strain on your thumb and some other tricks that will help you reduce pain and avoid injury. There's a new product on the market that could help you reduce some of the strain of holding your phone. It's called the MagSafe. It's a very strong magnet that goes on the back of your phone case. And it's so strong, in fact, that I'm having trouble getting it off, but here I can show you. This is the part that attaches to your phone case and you do need to use a phone case with this. It goes right there. And then the pop socket just pulls out. This is a very strong magnet. MagSafe tells you never to hold it like this, but I hold it like this because I'm in a carpeted space. If, it, if the phone fell, it wouldn't crack the face of it. So I'm really not too worried about that happening. And the fingers are naturally curved in this position. So there's very little strain if you're holding it like this. Um, you'll see in the illustrations that they hold the phone using these two fingers. I don't recommend that. If you're gonna do that, I recommend that you use the first finger and the long finger, and that's gonna be a little less stressful. That way you don't have to use your thumb to hold the phone at all. So this is one option for you but there are many. I suggest you know, pass it from hand to hand so that you're not constantly holding it with the same hand all the time. Using different hand holds, you can hold it like this, you can hold it like this, you can cup the phone and hold it like this. And all of these variations are going to reduce thumb strain. And you really, really, really want to protect your thumb from any kind of strain. It, if you injure your thumb, it's really a problem. I also like these little trays that you can put your phone in. You just stand them up. You can make it higher or lower. And that helps you reduce the, the act of holding your phone. The problem is you have to have it on a high level so you're not looking down at it because that can lead to a lot of neck strain. So if you're using one of these little trays, put it in position where you can look down and view everything with your eyes. If you're on your speakerphone, of course, you don't have to worry so much about that if you're talking to somebody. But any way you can reduce holding your phone is what I would recommend because these tools are really not designed for the human hand. One thing you never wanna do is text with your thumb. This is very, very dangerous practice. And it could lead to a really bad injury that could be hard to treat. What you can do instead is hold your phone with a bent elbow, bring it about three inches away from your torso so that it's right in front of your mouth. Then you look with your eyes. Now, if you're going to text, use your index finger, not your thumb. And the better way to do this actually is to press the mic and dictate. That's the safest way to text or send an email to someone. So that's what I recommend. And if you want more great information about saving your hands, Look at the video that's coming up next.